King there. WKRG News 5's Bill Riles explains what that has meant for the city. Money grows on trees and in trees. And if it wasn't for trees, Bruton it wouldn't exist. That's Pat Reeves, who's worked in the timber industry in and around Bruton for 46 years. And when you listen to him tell it, it all makes sense how timber made the city of Bruton from the time the T.R. Miller Sawmill Company was first established. The sawmill got its name in 1872. There was even a smaller sawmill way before that. The paper mill came to town in, uh, in the mid-50s. This area just happened to be in the right place. A confluence of waterways put Bruton on the map and then, of course, all the timber. In fact, standing right here, you can, you can smell cut timber. You can smell it. These days, modern timber operations use modern equipment to get the job done, but over the years, it's taken labor from a lot of people to make the industry work. It's those people who also create communities. When you have all the people working there, then you got to have uh, support industries, you got to have churches, you got to have courthouses, you got to have clothes shops, and it all comes from timber. And you've also got to have schools. The timber industry is where the term severance tax came from. Every time a tree is severed, there's a tax paid. And that money's called severance tax, and it goes to the local school. And now I just learned something I never knew before. Bill Riles, WKRG News 5. According to the Alabama Forestry Commission, there are 23 million acres of timberland in the state. The industry generates more than $21 billion in revenue and provides more than 122,000 jobs. 